What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Here is some great news for you. In Google I.O. 2023, which happened just a couple of days ago, Google has announced that the Wear OS 4 is coming your way later this year. And this iteration of Wear OS is going to bring in some cool new features and some important improvements on the Wear OS watches. And some of these features and improvements may also land on the Samsung Galaxy watches, which are running on One UI based on Wear OS. In one of my previous videos, we have already seen what are the new features coming to the Galaxy watches on One UI 5.0 wherein most of the improvements are focused on health centric features whereas Google has announced that they will be bringing some additional improvements in terms of smart features as well as improvements in a very very important department that is the battery performance. Google says regular platform updates keep Wear OS watches like the Google Pixel Watch and Samsung Galaxy watches running faster, safer and longer with stronger battery life. Wear OS 4 will bring even more updates later this year with new and improved accessibility capabilities like faster and more reliable text to speech experience. It will also provide backup and restore support helping you securely transfer data and settings between the watches. And if you are setting up a watch from your phone, any permissions you are granted on the phone will automatically carry over. Apparently on Wear OS 4.0, we don't really have to be worried about formatting the watch when we connect to a new phone. This has always been a worry whenever we connect the watch to another device or another phone, we have to format the Galaxy watch and then connect it to another phone which is really frustrating and on Wear OS 4.0 or One UI 5.0 we don't really have to format the watch. That is going to be a very very important improvement. Google also says they have launched the watch face format built in partnership with Samsung so developers and designers can easily create high quality and power efficient watch faces for Wear OS 4 which means we can expect some amazing watch faces which are more power efficient. Now coming to other smart features if you are using a pixel watch you are going to get new controls in the Google Home application where you will be able to check who rang your Nest doorbell right in your notifications and you will also be able to remotely unlock your door right from your watch. Google says later this year you will be able to access two Google Workspace favorites, Gmail and Google Calendar where you can quickly respond to emails in Gmail and check your schedule, view and RSVP to events and update task statuses in calendar. Then comes WhatsApp. Now the WhatsApp has already been made available on a WhatsApp beta application which can be installed on the Galaxy watches and this app will be officially available on the Wear OS 4.0 in coming days. If you want to install the standalone WhatsApp application right away on your Galaxy watch, you can check out the video which I posted a couple of days ago. I will leave a link in the description as well as in the comment section. You will be able to use WhatsApp right away on your Galaxy watch. Now coming to the tiles, we are also getting three new tiles on Spotify which will enhance the experience of Spotify application. These are some of the smart feature enhancement we are going to get on Wear OS 4.0. Among these the most important one would be improved battery life on Wear OS 4.0 or One UI 5.0 based on Wear OS 4. That is going to be a welcome improvement. Now as far as the battery life is concerned on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro I'm getting close to about uh, three to four days of battery and on Watch 5 regulars we get about one and a half days to two days of maximum battery life and watch for classic is still going good it's giving me about one and a half days of battery life without the power saving mode being turned on. You let me know how is your battery life going on your Galaxy watches, whichever watches you own. Even if you own a Pixel watch, do share your thoughts about these new features which are coming up on Wear OS 4.0. Let me know what you think. And while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.